All right. Good day, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, week three of the iRacing Spec Racer 4 Challenge Championship. And uh, this week uh, we are at the iconic Australian racing venue, Bathurst Mount Parumrama, uh, New South Wales, Australia. And uh, the qualifying, the drivers are just starting their first flying lap. Let's go on board David Gaspers for a look at the. Uh, circuit as he uh, climb onto the mountain then at the moment let's go on board and see how he attacks the mountain where's the roll bar camera where is it damn it <laughs> no I can't find a roll bar camera Ah, uh, there it is. Yep, as he uh, ascends to the mountain, it is still flat out in the Gen 3 new car. As we speak of Gen 3 supercars, is uh, going to release their third generation of the not n not so stock touring car. This uh, car is lifting slightly for the last turn, and now he breaks down to the mountain. Fourth gear, down to third. Just run the shortest line possible. Very close to the wall. <clears throat> In the tricky corner, I believe it is called uh, Devil's Elbow. Want to uh, really nail the exit on this corner. And this uh, very long straight line following it. As you can see, uh, David is again running the shortest line here. You don't really want to swing this car on the straight line that will cause the distance to be longer we just have to run the shortest line that's quicker heavy breaking into the chicane it's called the chase i think uh, that's just lifted a little bit here it's a little bit wide i still left otherwise he will go off track not into the last turn down to second Powers out, and that's a lot around Bathurst. Currently, Gustavus is on pole position with a 225.9. So, go to the TV camera made by Jay Kennedy, a replication of the 2017 Bathurst 1000 uh, real life broadcasting camera. It's a really beautiful made. And currently it is the Uruguayan driver, Andre Batoni, starting on pole. Currently claiming pole position with a 225.4, followed by Liu. My fellow Chinese driver, currently uh, 225.6, starting second. It's Gaspers on his second lap, and uh, we have Gerardo Papiramos, currently sitting fourth in the number six spot. A yellow mobile. Oh, that's Bertoni back into the pits. Looks like he has some uh, issues on his second lap. He might be a car contact, might to the wall, might be off track. Now he's back to the pits, but I believe a uh, 225.4 will secure him quite off the grid. And there's uh, Daniel Cedro in the Fox uh, four speed car. Uh, who is sitting the provisional fifth spot currently uh, having a lap time of 2.26.2 and another car back to the pits that will be Alberto Pellegrini hailing from Brazil uh, in the number 10 car his paint has not loaded uh, his first lap was a 2.26.8 that is 1.4 seconds off pole but it looks like uh, he will not attempt a second lap and uh, speaking of a driver who has not set a single lap yet, Flavio Andalo, another Brazilian driver. Some uh, issues on his first lap, now on his second lap. It is a little bit boring to drive this car on the long straight line at Bathurst. You can see Flavio running a wider line here. That's uh, really unnecessary in this car. And you know, here been a bit touch on the curb. And 
now into the last corner. Let's see what lap uh, time will Flavio do. That will be a uh, two twenty seven point four for Andalo, and that will put him in eleventh position. Oh, that then uh, that is uh, the Chinese driver Liu. Uh, a lap time of two twenty five. 258 that is uh, a tenth faster than Batoni he's uh, sitting on pole Batoni uh, doing some additional practice currently in uh, second Gaspers third Fabio fourth and I believe qualifying might be over and let's go over the grid now so uh, on pole or starting from pole uh, it's Zhao Liu from China, uh, alongside him will be Andre Batoni from Uruguay, racing for Mafia Racing. On third position is David Gaspers, the Spec Racer for the Specialist. And okay. on f the outside of the second row, it will be Gerardo Papi Ramos. Yeah, good luck, everybody. The Spaniard, very, um, very good racer. And uh, on inside of uh, row three, that will be Daniel Sergio. On outside, it will be Austin Winner. That was uh, disappointing qualifying for him, starting a little bit further back than uh, where he usually is. So I think seventh will be Jason Green. And eighth will be Jeff Fisher in the iconic Petit Blue car. So I think ninth will be Sergio Durelli. Teammate of uh, Batoni, uh, the Mafia racing driver, and uh, there'll be Alberto Pellegrini, or Pellegrini, I still don't know how to read it. Maybe he can point it out for me one day. That's uh, starting in 10th. And uh, on in 11th will be his fellow countryman Flavio Andalo. On 12th, it's uh, Tom Gradwell from Down Under at his home track. And uh, around the other field will be J uh, Jeff Jacobson. Starting th 13th and uh, I believe everyone is on the grid now uh, let's see how this race will unfold green flag green flag and we are racing at Bathurst it's a little bit wheel spin from Gospers but looks like he had a best start out of everyone but that is not enough to challenge Batoni into turn one you might not want to be the first car here at the moment, as everyone will get to draft. Here's uh, Bertoni and Gaspers. Uh, Gaspers snaking around on the straight line a little bit. I believe he's might be warming up his tires. And uh, Bobbio following him, that's doing the same. That's Liu. Liu is uh, defending from Bertoni to turn one, but Bertoni has a lot more overspeed. Bertoni has the outside, and the Bertoni understeers. Liu has sus successfully defended his uh, first position. Now Gaspers into second onto the mountain for the first time. It's a very good view of the cutting, I believe this corner is called. And there's winner, winner already up two positions. Or it was actually uh, Dan Sergio had a very poor start dropping a few positions. I believe winner is up by one position. That's uh but Sergio down three positions. Not uh, the best start of the race for him, and then now down the mountain for the first time. Liu is still leading the way. Gaspers uh, closely following behind, and uh, but only after that turn two mischief. Now he's still uh, it's not over for him yet for sure. And now onto the straight line for the first time. A little bit of gap from uh, Liu to Gaspers. Uh, the gap will be 5 tenths and that's Durelli. Trouble for Durelli. Let's see what happened. Again, the Argentinian suffering from the race a little bit. That is a very bizarre crash. And, uh, let's have a look at it again. How did that happen? Has the inside wall and his car just exploded. And that's Andalo, very unfortunate. Suffering from suspension damage from that hit.
and still no lead change surprisingly uh, Liu is still leading the way after the first lap and there's uh, Gaspers still sitting second Gaspers running a little bit wide that might give Bertoni a chance let's see what will Bertoni do Bertoni not really cooperating as he usually do maybe because of his uh, ping that is Liu giving Gaspers a little bit rough uh, Liu probably wants uh, Gaspers and Bertoni still side by side into turn 2 so that he can run away and that is and uh, the, the move indeed went as he planned Gaspers uh, able to hold off Bertoni on the inside of turn 2 and uh, the order of top 5 is still unchanged although Jason Green has dropped off the uh, lead pack now there's a gap of 2 seconds between him and the winner Durelli still in the pits, I think he might have given up, uh, very unfortunate for Andalo. Back to the lead, it's a train of 5 cars, just meandering around the mountain. And again trouble for Jason Green, I... It's not Jeff Fisher who just made a pass on the mountain let's see oh that is green going a little bit wide on the exit and uh he just gave up oh that is uh Sadro locking up the kiss brakes into the turn and now fisher in the iconic heavy blue car at least the second packing sixth position let's go back to the top five Tony didn't really have a good run on the exit here there is Gaspers. Gaspers on the inside for the king but he will be on the outside of the Chicane, but he has already cleared cleared Liu, and there's Bertoni. Uh, Bertoni had a look up down the inside, but I uh, don't think he really had a move there to be done. And behind that's uh, Green. Green took back his sixth position after uh, a little bit of mistake on the mountain. That's uh, Sergio back to seventh position. Jeff Fisher dropped back to eighth, and uh, that's Pellegrini sitting ninth currently with uh, I think. Bradwell and Jacobson might both involved in the uh, incident earlier with uh, derailing this car exploding mid corner. <laughs> really, uh, the season hasn't been going very well for the Argentinian driver. Uh, he uh, had a horrible race last week at uh, Barber, suffering uh, from tire overheating. There's Sergio. Sergio and Green are going at each other. I think nothing is changing for the top 5, so... Where is it? I thought there's nothing changing for the top 5, it was actually hard racing. Now Fabio up to 3rd and... Uh, but Tony, all the way down to 5th, Fabio have the inside of the cutting. And now Fabio goes for uh, overtake. Poor thing, Gosper's on the outside of the 2 corners and no winner wants a piece of it. They're still side by side. You totally can go side by side flat out on the mountain here. Gaspers losing two positions in three corners. That was a little bit unexpected. Now Fabio already raced its way from uh, fourth positions to uh, fourth position to second. Also winner from uh, I don't even know from sixth to third, I think. Uh, Gaspers had a look on uh, the inside uh, of Winner there on the inside of uh, that hairpin onto the straight line. I still don't quite remember the corner names. Gaspers, uh, there's a uh, four turn gap between the Winner, surprisingly. And there's Fabio. Fabio down the inside. Oh, it's getting really close between Liu and the uh, winner. Behind the winner has to back off slightly, and there's Fabio. Fabio defending on the inside of the last corner. And Liu uh, backs off to uh, give him the entry. So, uh, not really any point to fight for it for the moment, as it will be a 10 lap race, and we're only 3 laps through it. Or actually, 4 laps through it, just as I speak. 
Secondly, the gap between uh, the first pack and the second, the gap between fifth and the sixth position is 3.5 seconds. I don't think the second pack has a chance at winning the race. Unless uh, the first pack fight very hard is Liu, bump drafting Babio. And winner and Gosper is going side by side behind. Winner having the inside, Gosper is having the outside. It's a good strategy by Liu there. Seeing that uh, Gosper and the winner fighting for it, he decided to work with uh, Babio. And uh, there is currently a seventh gap between him and the winner. That could be race deciding. If a uh, winner and the Gospers uh, continue fighting, this Liu uh, still from uh, Fabio. And uh, as they fight behind, Batoni is now through to fourth position. You uh, had to lift it on the exit. <laughs> Might must must have been a little bit too hot going down the mountain. Just tap, Bobby. Just tapping the cold and tire tire barrier on the exit. And now he has n nothing. There's nothing that he can do against Liu, stopping Liu from overtaking him. And there goes Liu. No more bump dropping. But behind, but Tony is helping winner. Fabio might get swallowed up here. Oh! Fabio uh, going for the gap there. He actually redraft back from Liu and take the inside. And we're racing hard at Bathurst. He did not have, have enough momentum and now he has to block winner. And they're going three wide for second position. So, uh, that was a quite aggressive move from Fabio, I have to say. But uh, he judged the space pretty well. And uh, no one's hurt. At least for the moment. And there's Gaspers. Gaspers going for fifth from uh, to second. Within two corners. Just uh, in the opposite style of how he lost the position in the first place. And Gaspers is through to the lead on the sixth, sixth lap of the race, or the fifth. I'm a little bit confused by my overlays. <laughs> the top five are still inseparable. Yes, but Tony going a little bit out of shape behind. But uh, Winner can't really do anything about it. Stop just having a little bit lock up there on the downhill. And uh, now let's go on board uh, Winner, let's see uh, what, what kind of chess move will Winner do here. Uh, just a little bit over two tenths behind the Tony. And uh, the drop is too strong, it's the fifth car in line, doesn't really, it can't really do anything. So everyone actually is single funny all and uh, all, uh, Winner goes very deep. Oh, I'll break Tony here and they touch. Uh, winner really forcing his way by for Tony. But Tony is not going to be happy about that. And that is uh, Jason Green currently taking back the lead of the second pack. And the gap to the first pack has grew to 4.2 seconds. They must have been fighting quite a lot. Uh, 
And there's uh, Tom and uh, Jeff still having their race quietly behind. And there's uh, Sergio Durelli. Another heartbreaking race for the Argentinian driver. And uh, we just tuned away for one fifth of the lap, and uh, there's another position change. There's Fabio for a few seconds. Fabio always on the look to overtake. Obviously, Casper is not going to be too happy about it. He's right on Fabio's gearbox. Uh, speaking of gearbox, uh, let's look back from Liu's car to see how, how close they actually are. That's really how it looks like going down the mountain. <laughs> And that is Fabio, really, not even a single millimeter of space between him and the inside wall. And now here we go again. Another drop pass on the straight line. And Gaspers is now going to follow Fabio. Fabio moving to the inside to block. But he uh, did not block. Oh, that's Liu. Oh Sorry, no. Liu goes very deep and into Fabio. They are going, both going to have a slowdown penalty. That will uh, give both of them quite a little bit of trouble. Let's see. Uh, will they still stay in the lead pack? Well, there's still uh, four laps to go. Maybe they can figure it out. Now, Fabio, uh, seven tenths behind Liu. He still has a chance, but he has some work to do while uh, serving that uh, slowdown penalty. And there's uh, Winner and Gospers not going at each other for the With uh, Batoni. Having a look there. And uh, there's Fabio back into the race now. But Tony and the Gaspers, they were side by side and they were, they are not anymore. And as Bastoni run wide, there's here comes Liu. Liu is going to uh, have a run on Bastoni, but I think this is really optimal position for overtake. The gap between uh, Bastoni and the Gaspers is only 5 tenths, but uh, that will disappear on the back straight line. Gaspers actually four tenths behind winner on the exit to the uh, back straight line there. But Tony leaving a little bit. It's an interesting strategy. Maybe he just wants to sit in third position and uh, let uh, Gaspers and the winner figure it out. Well, there's Fabio going to overtake at Liu. And behind that is uh, Pellegrini making a move on green while Dan Sergio has actually ran away from the second pack. There must have been something going on behind and there's Batoni again. What is he doing? Some weird strategy here. 
by my understanding, I think he is trying to uh, be in third position so he can win on the last lap. But I will say, uh, it, in my opinion, it is still a little bit too early for that. Uh, let's come behind, there's uh, Pellegrini uh, with green behind. The gap between uh, Pellegrini and uh, Satchel is currently 1.2 seconds. He is just a little bit outside of the truck range, actually. is slightly decreasing though and uh, let's go back to the lead and then there's that Sergio, uh, just easing his way around the mountain and uh, Pellegrini now is 1.1 second behind him Pellegrini hard onto the curb on the exit and now down the mountain they go a little bit lock up from Sergio bring a little bit out of shape Uh, let's go back to the lead as they uh, go down the back straight once again. It's uh, Liu a little bit uh, further back from the pack. It's uh, five tenths between him and uh, Fabio at the moment. And there is Fabio pulling over to the uh, but Tony. He didn't have any help. Now he has the drop from winner. It's clear of Tony. Will Fabio look for another position? It's uh, Fabio and there's Gospers on the inside. They touch. Fabio uh, turning in slightly uh, a little bit early and he just lost the position back to Patoni and actually even losing the position to Liu it's uh, Liu now on the inside of Patoni they go side by side on the last corner I don't think that is a very wise plan as the gap between Patoni and uh, Gaspers is now 9 tenths of a second this Liu uh, backing up to fourth position. I believe he will push Batoni here. They can be back in the draft. The gap is one second now. And there he is pushing uh, Batoni, but Fabio has another uh, some other idea. Now he's side by side with Liu. Will Fabio take two positions here? And Fabio backs off. They are working off. They are all working together. But the gap is still one second. Let's see, will this decide the race here? Will um, Gaspers just push winner and then run away from the trial behind them? Is Austin Winner taking the shortest line possible? Not even using up that section of the track. The gap is still growing between uh, Batoni and uh, Gaspers. Uh, let's have a look behind. Uh, Pellegrini now actually has caught Satchel and now uh, it's again a train from 6th position to 9th. It's uh, Fisher going a little bit deep on the mountain but uh, he has, uh, has it under control in the iconic Petit Blue car. Gap between uh, Satchel and Pellegrini is currently 8 tenths of a second and now on the back straight for another time. The gap between uh, Batoni and the Gospers is now 6 tenths. And there's Gospers going at winner. As they go through the train once again. Winner getting behind Gospers. Gospers now into the lead with uh, Batoni. Now have completely closed the gap back to normal. Sitting third. The pole setter Liu is now in fourth position with uh, Gerardo Papiramos. Currently uh, just sitting on the last position of the train. He has some work to do for sure. I think you might want to be in the top four to have a chance at uh, winning this race. And now we are on the last lap. Let's see uh, how will everyone play this game. It's now or never. Will Fabio magically coming all the way from 5th to win the race? See Fabio now on the outside of Liu with a little bit of help from Batoni. 
But Tony was sitting back earlier, but now he's fighting for the lead. Very interesting strategy of Mark here. And now they are Leo and uh, they are going three wide for a brief moment. Leo winner and uh, Batoni and there is winner. Some contact between uh, winner and Batoni I believe. And now we'll put Fabio now a having a chance at third position. Now oh, there's some uh, Four playing there between Winner and uh, Fabio. Now Fabio is in third position. He might actually have a chance at winning the race. Let's see how will everything unfold. I am going to put the camera on Fabio's car now for the last half of the lap. The race. Fabio now sitting at the fast position. Potentially to win the race, and that is uh, not a very optimal exit from the Tony. And now everyone is snaking around to break the drop. Will Fabio have a chance here, or will Batoni have a go at it? At it. Yes, Batoni. Batoni is on the outside. He and Gaspers are blocking Fabio from having a chance at all. But Batoni has cleared Gaspers. Into the chicken for the last time. Fabio sideways. And and they touch. Oh no. Fabio has spun winning around. After going off track. So very unfortunate. And let's go back to the lead now. And it will be Batoni. The Uruguayan driver is going to take the win here tonight. And Mon Panorama. And that will be David Gaspers finishing third. And uh Leo, after setting a pole up, will run out the podium and uh, Dan Cedro Quality collecting a uh, fourth position. Uh, Why are you bumping me? Again, the race is over. So, winner a little bit frustrated at the Bobbio. So, uh, Green uh, Pellegrini not having enough time to uh, come back and. Uh, oh, there's some damage on Pellegrini's car and some on Jeff Fisher. It must be uh, some other last lap drama. Let's have a look. Oh! Guess there's even more going on. Like when I was spinning after you hit me? I don't know. I'm, I was going off the track. I didn't want to stop on the track. Uh, I was uh, some contact between uh, Pellegrini and uh, Jeff Fisher on the GK. Oh! And uh, now there's the Uruguayan driver taking his uh, victory parade lap, and we all know what he's going to do next. Obviously. Let's see uh, how is Personi going to do it. He's going to cut the uh, downhill. Uh, that's another cheek, eh? Really, the track was like that originally, I believe. Although there was a sand trap there, now it is all asphalt. And now he's getting ready for it. The famous Bathurst jump. He's going full throttle. What are you doing, Batoni? You're supposed to keep going. Is he actually going to do the jump? He's on the right side of the track, which means he likely will. He's, he definitely has his own feel, but why is he lifting? There he is! And upside down goes Batoni, flying around the track, <laughs> tumbling like a washing machine. <laughs> oh. And that will run out today's race. Uh, let's have a, have a look uh, at the last lap uh, with uh, Batoni and uh, Fabio again. So, uh, certainly some beef brewing up here tonight. Let's see.
They are coming to last and they are all squeezing on the inside and that's uh, Fabio sideways. Yeah. I'll see. Uh, let's see, I mean, it's Fabio's problem going off track in the first place. But uh, Winner did not leave him. Yeah, he saw it here, but I don't... It didn't leave much room for Fabio to rejoin the track, but uh, that was Fabio's problem, though. have to say. He's out here, like, he, he lost it uh, all himself. He's going sideways here. Uh, Gaspers kind of helped him back onto the track, pointing in the right direction, but now he hits winner. And I think it might be Bobby just pulling left to stop the car is not really him having uh, some problem with uh, with winner. And let's see this again. Pellegrini having a go, and now they are rejoining the track. And Fisher kind of overreacted a little here a little bit, and now that's uh, that will be uh, Dan Cedro. Going from uh, eighth position to fourth <laughs> on the last last one tenth of the lap. All right, I'm gonna play it back from. Uh, Oh yeah, let's see, uh, hold on, on the last lap on the uphill, who, who had contact there? This winner sitting second on the last lap. They're almost three wide for a moment. So winner squeezing uh, the Tony slightly. Oh, it was him actually going a little bit too hot and nearly uh, bumped Gaspers off the track there. And now there's Fabio. Fabio and the winner side by side, they touch multiple times. Also touch. And there was another net cold touch. Yeah, really has been a great race. It's just a little bit unfortunate. Uh, it ended a little bit ugly. And with that conclusion, uh, it's time to end uh, tonight's stream, and uh, let's go race someone. Oh, hello DJ, uh, should you join American Muscle Series like Arrow? Uh, no, I don't have the car, and uh, I don't really have time to purchase it. Let's see, who are we going to raid? I don't know there's really no one to raid, I guess we'll just uh, end the stream right here. And uh, thank everyone for coming, and uh, see y'all next time. Bye!